hello hello so today is a super fun tutorial because you guys know me as a convert kit expert so I want to break a little tiny piece of my convert kit mastery course out and help you understand how to make pretty buttons in your convert kit emails so let's get started all right, so when you're in ConvertKit, go into your account, go to email template, and find the template you want to add a button to. So for me, it's this very bottom one. This is the one that I use for my email drafts or broadcasts. So what you'll want to do is copy and paste the code that I'm giving you in the blog post. So you'll just copy that and come over and paste it into your template. So I've pasted mine. Actually, I've pasted mine right there. Um, and then you can use it. Now, you want to make sure this code is after a the style box at the top of your template and before this ending style and before the message content. So I've put in the button code I want to use and now the best thing you'll want to do here to change it is just change the background color so mine you know is blue so you'll want to change yours to your brand colors but then you can leave the rest the same and it's all done for you now to actually use the button what you'll want to do is go into your broadcast and create a new broadcast or a new sequence or however you're setting that up and you'll be here like you're writing it so once you get to where you want to actually insert the button you'll click this little html bracket. Then you will paste in the code I have for the emails for you in the blog post. So paste that in. Now what you'll want to do is change this URL to wherever you want people to go when they click the button. So if I want people to just go to my website, I would just replace that there. You do want to make sure you have the HTTP um, colon forward slash forward slash before it. And then You've copied this code, so that class is just button, which it's going to pull from the template that you just created. And then this text here, right before the forward slash A, is what your button will say. So if I leave that as is, then it will say a button to my site. Um, you'll want to make sure you leave all brackets in place and just change the text. So now when I switch back to HTML view, it's not gonna show me the button, but if I can click browser, then it will show me there the button to my site. Now you can use this as many times as you want to. I have three buttons coded on my template myself. So um, if I go back into my account and my email template, I think there's only two on this template, but you can see here I've done button two. It's the same code, just a different background color. And Right here's the second part of it. So it's just button two. You can do button three, button four, button five, button red, button blue, button green. It doesn't matter. But whatever it says here, if you want it to show up, then you need to make sure in this part, that's what it says. So before I was using this code, which is the one you'll copy and paste. So I'm just using button. But if I wanted this button to show up, it would be button two here. Or if yours was button red, button blue, it does need to be all one word. So just squish it together. But that is how you create pretty little buttons on your ConvertKit templates.